So starting out as usual, I went to the stronghold, got my 10k on this account and this time on my other account. So uh, heading over to RD now to thieve some cakes and do some quests. Well, I got killed and lost everything. And the guy that killed me, I sat probably for like 10 or 15 minutes, ran back trying to kill him because um, I was sure he probably didn't have too much food. So even though I was like basically no stats, he had no armor and like no food probably. So I thought I might be able to whittle his HP down and kill him, but uh, that was a waste of time. So I'm here doing agility at the normal arena. I'm going to be hitting 30 here soon. I can move over to Varrock over here on my other account. I am just killing seagulls over here at Port Serim. Uh, with my bronze sword because I just keep getting killed. <laughs> Can't be bothered to get anything better right now. I don't think it's more efficient. It's just efficient to just sit here and use this until I get a little bit higher. But yeah, um, almost 30 strength right now. My plan got completely screwed over, but I think I'm still going to be able to get pretty far with this. So yeah. So 1,500 experience off 40, and I just got some money off this account down here. I was thieving some silk for a little bit of cash. Uh, also got some cakes and some breads and stuff. And I'm gonna head over to uh, the rock crabs and start training there. Hopefully it's uh, not super crowded and hopefully I don't get killed, but I don't really have anything to lose at this point. So let's go. All right, let's see. Let's see if the rock crabs are open. Please, please be an open rock crab. If there is, I can I can still come back. I can still do decent this season. If there's, if there's just one spot open. Come on. And I don't get killed. Doesn't even have... Okay, awesome. We have one right here. Cool. So, I just hit 50 strength. The combat is coming along pretty well here at the rock crabs. Going much faster than a lot of stuff that I usually train on early on in dead man mode. And I'm purely just going for melee. Just I'm just gonna completely just do this like all day long. See how high I can get. Hopefully get to the Warriors Guild today. Actually, for sure I should be at the Warriors Guild today. And yeah, hopefully I can get some a good head start in melee. 52 agility. Time to head up to the wilderness course and hopefully I don't get killed. If I do, I don't really have anything to lose though. So let's go. Got to get some tea first because I could just add to the skeletons and falling off the traps. So I got to have some sort of food. I'm going to 52 agility. I'm probably going to be falling quite a bit. Like even if no one else kills me, I'll probably still run out of teas and die within probably like half an hour or something. There's some pretty easy starting experience. Uh, they got me at the... Oh crap, I'm still on... Wait, I'm on strength. Why is it still doing attack? Okay. Apparently it doesn't listen to your combat style. All right. Still some easy attack experience. I decided to make a quick little stop here at these rats, get my HP up a little bit so I won't get killed by like skeletons and such as easily. Uh, Cause it'd be really easy for me to die if I fall down into the pit and then a skeleton attacks me at the same time. So probably gonna get like 15 HP. So across the bridge, there's some red, there's like a red thing over there. So someone's been over here. Oh, and I fell again. Someone's been over there. Hopefully there's no one camping over there just killing people doing agility. Well, it looks empty right now. There's That was cake back there. Hopefully it stays this way. If it stays this way, it shouldn't take long to get like 65 agility, which is what I want. And then I'm going to go do agility pyramid. On this account down here, this is where I'm at right now, 55 strength. Still in the same spot. Oh, I have someone coming after me. Oh, I think I just lost him unless he falls too. If he doesn't fall, then I am pretty much for sure safe. I'll try and hop. Like there's some more people right there that might kill me. Nope, got away. Yes, he's. I don't think he can mage me from right there. Or if he can, I'll eat right before he mages. But guess he wants to kill everyone doing agility. I wonder if he's doing that just to block people from progress, or if he is like actually getting good loot off that. No, no, he's on me. Gap. I 
I have gap. Question is, does he have as much energy as me? And does he want to... Oh, no, he... He caught up. This guy is really determined. <laughs> he really wants to kill agility. Agility trainers. There he is again. <laughs> this guy is just really desperate. But it, it's pretty easy, easy to hop. He hasn't got me yet. But I'm almost out of food, so maybe like 10 more laps and I'll let him kill me. You know, make his... Boom! 60 agility. I think I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer until I die maybe. And then once I die or run out of food or something, I'm going to go head over to the agility pyramid after I grab a little bit more food. Did he get me? I'm out of food, so I, I think I might just let him kill. I'm going to use my food. Make him use up his runes. Maybe, maybe I'll actually... No, I'm... I don't know if I want to let him kill me or not. I mean, I have nothing in my bank, so literally I will lose nothing. Um, I won't... Actually, I guess I will lose some stats. Let's go ahead and try and... Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm just going to let him kill me. Alright, so now it's time to go get some food and do the agility pyramid. Oh... Just got 60 strength on this account. Move on to attack now until I get 40 attack. And then back to strength. And I'm down to thieving men for GP. That's that's pretty sad. Hopefully this run over to the agility pyramid will be successful. I'm just going to get one pyramid um, and then put that on another account. That 10k. And yeah, then I'll put on like maybe 500 GP on this account to buy some some water skins and stuff I need for the agility pyramid, head back there and try and get maybe like 50k before banking it. Operation, get the agility pyramid gold thing. Here we go. Can I do it without dying is the question. If I can, then that's going to be huge. Just one, just one pyramid. Like I am down to 8 GP. One pyramid is 10,000 coins. That's going to help so much. So Hopefully I can be successful. And my other account just got 40 attack. So I'm going to switch that back to strength. And not die to a lizard. And I just saw a guy with five keys. Scary. I'm going to go ahead and hop. Hopefully I don't run into anyone like that. But there is some people there. So I just saw them. So fingers crossed that I don't die. Oh no, there's some people. Am I going to log before? No, I was literally one second away. Oh crap, he can still attack me. I guess time to run. Oh, nope, never mind, I died. Good fight. Okay, the agility pyramid isn't sounding like a good idea right now. <laughs> Holy cow. Back to pickpocketing men for money. So this time I'm just going to get 60. I'm going to try and make my way over to Artie. And at Artie... Uh, I'm changing my money making goal, so basically 60 agility was for nothing. Um, but I don't really need a lot of money right now. Basically my money I'm going to try and work towards buying a rune simi for my other account for some better training and eventually a dragon simi and a DDS and stuff like that. Um, I won't need the dragon simi for a while, so uh, basically I needed to make money for a rune simi, which I think they're probably usually at the beginning of dead memo, they're probably going for around like 40, 50k, 30k, something like that. So I'm going to go do silk uh, 30k. I think that's like 30 or 40k an hour. So it really shouldn't take too long to get money for a rune simi. All right, guys, check this out. 60 strength is rank one right now. I'm sure there are people that haven't logged, but I'm going to go ahead and take that rank one really quickly. 62 strength. So two levels above the highest ranked person right now. I'm going to go ahead and take that spot before someone else logs. And yeah, I'll be back in a second. So it should be updated now. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Oh, someone took it right before me. Literally, I just loaded this page where it was 60 like two minutes ago. Oh, that's too bad. Still rank two. Yeah, finally. Up on my other account, I finally got the three rock spots. So that crappy two spot. I can't even really use the three spot to its full potential right now, but it is still a lot better than my other spot. And once I can use it to its full potential, that will be awesome. 
And I have gotten 65 strength on this account. It's time to move on to attack. And I think I'm gonna, I have some cash on my other, this account right here, 45K cash, just from the silk. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go and try buy a rune simi. Let's try and speed up my training a little bit. And looky at this. Rank one, booyah. Oh, look at this. Rune simi has bought. Wish my strength on me would buy. So I'm still just uh, thieving the silk away on this account. 56 thieving from silk. It's, uh, it's pretty safe, um, okay money. Not really that great, but just sit here and click on this stall while I AFK at rock crops on my other account. Although now I'm switching it up. I'm gonna start doing some quests on it. Um, put an offer in for an Addy plate leg, Addy full helm, uh, mithril plates, and yeah, some armor, some an amulet of strength. So up grading my gear a little bit and yeah it's going pretty good hopefully I can get through these quests without dying but if I do I do have most like anything of value in my safe box or on these accounts so it shouldn't be too bad uh, yeah here we go time to finish this quest I think it's my first yep my first quest of this dead man mode season so I think it's gonna give me like 15k attack experience or something so it's gonna boost me up to 51 attack or maybe even 52 And there we go, 11.4k, so 7k off 52. 25 agility, time to move on to the Grand Tree. So there is Grand Tree completed. Uh, that is all the wrecks for MM, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that here soon, if not right now. 52 attack, almost 53 attack. And 31 agility, 52 max. Waterfall done. 13, basically 14k experience in attack and strength. So now I'm going to head over and finish off MM. Well, I've been lucky so far. Um, I'm pretty close to the end of Monkey Madness, and I haven't died yet during the quest, so that is awesome. And here's my stats right now. Has not. Not sure if anything has changed since the last clip, but they're looking decent. Once I finish this quest, they're all going to get a little bump up for that experience reward at the end. And I'm pretty close to having enough GP on my other account to buy a Dragon Scimitar if I sell my rune one. So that's going to be awesome. It's going to speed up my training a ton. I'm going to finish Fermi Trials and start training at Yaks and get some huge gains. So I finally defeated the demon. That took a while, and please don't die on the island. Please let me teleport. There we go. Monkey Madness is basically done. I just have to go go talk to the king and um, get my experience. Woot! Man, people have been catching up to me. Like before, I started questing. Like I was pretty far ahead of most people. Like there wasn't too many people I would see that were even close to my combat level. It was mostly like 40s, maybe some 50s. I was like 63. And now everyone's like more like 55 to 65, so people have caught up, so I better get back to training. Um, there is 66 combat, 55 attack, 5 attack levels to go, basically 4, and I can use a dragon simi. Um, so yeah. Yeah, finally, a liar. Now do Fremi Trials, that was the last thing that was uh, that needed for that. So now, time to go do it. And now another quest should be finished right here. Fremi Trials, I wonder if I'm the first person to do this. There we go, it is complete. So I can go train on Yaks now. And I just got a bajillion levels off that. Holy cow. All right, so hopefully there's no one at Yaks. Actually, I don't really care if there's anyone. I, well, I do care if there's a lot of people, but hopefully there's, um, if there's people, there's only like one or two and no PKers. Let's go check. 60 attack. Time to go get my Dragon Simi. Please don't be PK'd on the way to get it. Here you go, Dragon Simi. Now let's get out of here. Teleport. No. My Grigri, don't lose it. Okay, awesome. I didn't lose it. Dragon Simi has been completed or achieved, whatever. Awesome.
Now I'm going to no life at the Yaks all day and get some amazing melee stats. Also, I guess I'm going to head to the Warriors because once I can. Awesome, 66 strength. So now I have 130 combined attack and strength, which means I can go to the Warriors Guild. It's still day one. Awesome. That I think that's pretty good to have it done on the first day. Uh, Monkey Madness, uh, Fermi Trials, um, access to the Warriors Guild. So let's get my defenders. Get those done quick before it becomes too dangerous. Then head back here once I get them and just power out melee here.